So we've tested a lot of sweets at Gromit, and it's, well, it's really fun. Very few of them actually make the cut, but Sweet Jewels Caramels did. The first day, we had a little box of samples. I think there were at least 20 of them, and it was gone in a matter of hours. So caramel has become really popular. We know that Fleur de Sac Caramel is President Obama's favorite candy, but this Jewels and Hope take it to another level. You have Sicilian orange, you have this um, salted pecan and dark chocolate, which they call the queen of turtles. Bananas foster, I mean, th these are really different on top of the classics. So the founders, our sisters actually, Jules Franian and Hope Clocker, grew up in a very culinary oriented family. We grew up with a fondness for caramels because our aunt Rosie sent us a lovely box every year at Christmas time. This became a tradition. we make our caramels for our kids, and then when our kids moved away, they would want to share the memories with their friends and business associates. So then we started making caramels for a lot more people. And then before you knew it, we decided to start our business. They have sourced ingredients from all around the world. Their salts come from France. The beer comes from an award-winning ale right out of Minneapolis. They had to search far and wide to find a chocolate that would mix well with the caramel, and they found that one in Switzerland. So Jules and Hope have thought of everything, even the packaging. These make very special gifts, and when you open them up, you can see inside that these are handcrafted. So we got in a half pound to test initially, and then after we devoured that, we got in a full pound, which was a mixed sampler. But tell the truth, Wendy, none of us got to eat it because Wendy immediately put a sign on it, please do not eat. I learned from the first box that I couldn't trust anybody here.